Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. We're going to take our 30-day post-release look at Bloomborough Collector Box sales data off of TCG Player in the whole pre-release period and now out to 30 days post-release. It sold 3,358 boxes on the platform at a total price of $776,000 for an average price per box of $231, which is right on the cusp where just about any card store can push it through one of these marketplaces, pay the expensive market fees, pay real shipping in the U.S., and break even, which is not bad if you've got a store that can't quite move all of it in person or needs to recoup their capital a little bit sooner than they had hoped. They can at least break even on what the average sales price has been on TCG Player across the life of this product. When you look out there today, you'll find them on eBay for about $215, and on TCG, they're going at about $230 right now. What I'm going to compare this up against are the previous six standard expansion collector boxes. It's going to look like a lot when I put the lines up here, but I think it's an interesting comparison. We have the orange line of Outlaws, the blue line of Bloomborough that we're actually interested in, this burgundy line of Phyrexia, the light blue line of March of the Machines, the purple line of Lost Caverns, the light green line of Wilds, and the yellow line of Murders. And what we see from this is that the blue line of Bloomborough that we're talking about today is nearly tied with that orange line of Outlaws. So the last two standard expansion collector boxes have eclipsed all of the previous five and done it by a decent margin by about eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000. We can argue over the significance of the huge dump sale that TCG Player did on Outlaws collector boxes that gave it this huge boost, but the reality is it still reflects money that people were willing to separate with to get the product. And even if we discount that, all it shows is that Bloomborough has outperformed the previous six standard expansion collector boxes instead of merely the previous five. So very, very good performance. I'll take a final look at this at 60 days post-release. Subscribe so you don't miss that. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my very generous supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.